Hello, good evening, everybody. Hi, teacher. How are you, Cecilia? Did you go swimming? Fine, teacher. No, teacher, today I practice yoga. Oh, okay. Okay, no wonder you sound uh, very calm. Okay, that's great, that's great. Javier, how's it going? Ana Vilma, how are you? Loida, how are you, Loida? I'm okay, teacher. Great. You? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Ready to teach you. Roxana, how is it going? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Adriana, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Great, great. Okay, today, today we have to start unit five, okay? Unit five, okay? Uh, did you finish unit, uh, unit four? Yes, teacher. Okay, good job, good job. Great, great. Okay, so let me connect. Let me connect myself with the platform. Okay, today I am going to be talking to you about section five. Okay, so that you can finish it uh, next Monday, next Tuesday. And then you have time to take the final exam, okay? All right, so, so next week will be our last week, and then you will be in pre-intermediate four. Pre-intermediate four, okay? Here we go. Anavima, how are you? I want to work. Do you understand? Hey, repeat the question. <laughs> uh, that is not uh, like a automatic process. Uh, is it? I'm we have to. What's the matter with this? Let's go to the chat. All right, people. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, present continuous. Continuous. There we go. Present continuous. All right. You talk about present continuous. Okay. You talk about an action an action that is happening right now, okay? You talk about an action that is happening right now, right now. For example, okay, I am talking to you right now, right now. When you say right now, it's because the action 
is taking place in this very moment. Okay, I am talking to you right now. I am, I'm talking to you right now. I am, um, I am speaking English to you. English to you right now. I am speaking English to you right now. I am speaking English to you. When you say right now or now or at this moment, it's because the action is happening, okay? All right. Uh, you are paying attention. You are paying attention to me now. You are paying attention to me now. Yes. Are, okay. Ah, uh, Alex. Uh, solo Alex. Basta bueno. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Ana Vilma. Hi. Is looking at me now. Right? Bam! Ana Vilma is looking at me now. This is what she's doing in this very moment. She's watching me teach English to you. Okay? She is looking at me now. Okay, now. Beatriz, good evening. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. She looks very happy. Excuse me, right. I'm late. Oh, you're late. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, same. now, uh, present continuous, present continuous, future, future, future. Okay. But before I explain, present continuous future, I want you to tell me something you're doing right now. Okay, give me an example. Cecilia Caballero, give me an example. I am sleeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to say, I am falling. <laughs> I am falling asleep. <laughs> I am falling asleep. Now, me too. Now, <laughs> everybody is falling asleep. Okay, see, yes, see, this is right now what's happening to you right now. You are falling asleep now. You are falling asleep now. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Alex, give me an example of an action uh, that's happening now. Yeah. Uh... I am using my fan in this moment because I am. It's too hot. I I have I have. Oh, okay. Um, good, very good example. I am using my fan right now because it's too hot. It's too hot. Very good, very good. All right, so that is present continuous, an action that is happening right now. But when you use present present uh, continuous continuous future tense future when you are using present continuous to indicate to indicate future to indicate to indicate future all you need is a time expression like for example I am traveling, I am traveling for the USA tomorrow. See, the word tomorrow makes this statement future. I'm traveling for the USA tomorrow. Tomorrow. Teacher, okay. in, 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 this, in this sentence, uh, means future because of the word tomorrow because of the word 
Uh, only only put uh, only put a uh, one word that indicate future for exactly. example tomorrow in this case exactly right okay for example uh, i am taking i'm taking four subjects four subjects this semester i'm taking four subjects this semester I'm taking four subjects this semester. This semester is six months. This semester is yeah. six months. So you're speaking about future. You're taking four subjects uh, in the future. You will be taking four subjects. Okay, so this is future. Okay, or you can say, for example, uh, Cecilia is swimming next week. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, okay. Maybe. Okay, Cecilia is swimming next week. So this is future because I am using next week. Okay? Or you can say, I am... Um, Let me see, or let me see, for example, let me give you this better example, okay? When you, when you ask people, what are you doing tomorrow? See, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? See, what are you doing is present continuous, but you have the word tomorrow. So that's future. What are you doing tomorrow? I am going to work tomorrow. All right. I am going to work tomorrow. So the word tomorrow makes it future. I am going to work tomorrow. Or you can say, I am working tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. If you put the word tomorrow, that makes it future. I'm working. If you put the word now, it would mean right now. Okay, the action is happening right now. I am working now is now. But when you put tomorrow, it means future. All right, give me an example. Give me an example of a sentence indicating future teacher yeah i can say uh, i am studying in the college the next year i'm studying <clears throat> i'm studying uh, in the college i'm studying in co I'm, I'm i'm studying wait I'm studying at the university at the university next year. Right? I'm studying at the university. I'm studying at the U next year. Okay? Or I am going to study at the university next year. I'm studying at the university next year. Yeah, it means that you will be studying at the university next year. Okay? Another example? You For are, example, yeah. uh -huh. uh, I am working after tomorrow. I'm, I'm working late the day after tomorrow. I am working late, for example. I'm working, I'm working la late. Late. The day after tomorrow the day after tomorrow the day after tomorrow i'm working late the day after tomorrow the day after tomorrow is the future okay okay so because of the word tomorrow because of the word next year uh next week next semester this semester 
it becomes future. Even though you are using um, present tense, but the time expression tomorrow, next year, next week, this semester makes it future. Okay? Do you okay. Have any questions? Any questions? Yeah, teacher. And for example, in these stands, and is the way to, for example, and I don't know how do I say, como la forma, eh, como se dice esta palabra, eh, la forma, bueno, lo, lo informal, because you are no. of me no, going to. It's, it's future. It's future. It's future. Yeah, <laughs> because of the time expression. But you have this. Check it out. You have this. It's B plus going to. This one, you use it when you have a plan. Okay? When you have a plan, you can use B plus going to. Okay? Or when you are sure. When you are sure about what you will do. Okay, when you're sure about what you will do. For example, for example, I am going to travel for the USA. That's it. You're sure that you're going to travel. I am going to travel for the USA. It means that you are sure you have a plan already thought, already thought out, okay? You have a plan that you're going to be traveling for the United States, okay? Or I am going to the beach. I am going to the beach on the weekend. I am going to the beach on the weekend. You have a plan, okay? I am going to the beach on the weekend. This is future. This is future. And you have a plan and you are sure. When you use B plus going to, you are sure about what you are going to do. Okay? Yeah. That's very important. Okay. Now, give me an example with going to. Like, for example, when you're sure, when you have a plan, all right? Uh, Loida, can you give me an example with B plus going to? Mm, I am saying. I am going to. Uh, yeah, Juan Carlos. Uh, question. Yeah. Is correct, for example, I am, uh, how do you say, how do you say, recibiendo? I, in, I'm, I'm taking a course in, I'm taking. I, I, I am taking. I am, uh, you can say I am going to take, because you're going to is future, okay? Going to okay. the future. I'm going to take a course in English, for example. I am taking the class, uh, the class tomorrow, English, the class English uh, online tomorrow. Oh, you can say, uh, it's correct. I, I'm taking, sure, I'm taking my online class tomorrow. Or you can say, I'm logging in my, my English class tomorrow. I'm logging in. Logging in. Log logging in. Logging in means logging in. Logging in means eh, logueándose. Logueándose o conectándose. Connecting. I'm logging in wow. tomorrow. I'm logging into my online class tomorrow. When you say 
the word tomorrow, it means future, okay? Or you can say, I am going to log in my online class tomorrow. It's okay. good. Both are good. Both are good. Go ahead, Loida. Is the same meaning? Same, same thing, future. Same thing, future. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me examples with going to. Remember that when you use going to, it's because you have a plan, you are sure about what you will do. Okay, you have a plan. You're sure about what you will be doing. Go ahead and give me an example. I am going to visit my friend tomorrow. Okay, it means you surely you will do it. Okay, surely you will do it. It's because you already have a plan. Okay, you already planned to go see your friend tomorrow. Okay. Or when you say, Cecilia, when you say, I am going to go swimming uh, on Tuesday, it means that you already planned it. You already planned it. Okay. You're sure. Okay. Give me more examples. Okay. Give me more examples. Everybody, raise your hands. With going. Teacher, uh, yeah, go ahead. I am going to play soccer. On the next Sunday? On, on the weekend. Okay. Good job. Good job. Next one. Next one. Next one. Somebody else? Me. Go ahead, Me. Dilma. In Christmas, I am going to visit to my mom in Canada. Oh, my God. Okay. Ah, she's got money. Ana Vilma has money. Because she works, <laughs> yeah. she works yeah. at the bank. She works at the bank. Yes, yes. And, and many, she, many money. Takes the takes the money from the bank. <laughs> yes. Please take, please take us a souvenir from there. <laughs> yeah, you can you can bring us something, a t shirt, you can bring us uh, a shirt, um a pair of shoes, you know. Okay, good job. Very good job. Thank you. Uh next one. Janira, Janira, an example. Janira. I have a question, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. What, what is the difference between I'm going to and I will go? Oh, okay, good. All right. Will. When are you going to use will? When you make a sudden decision. When you make a sudden decision. Okay, that's number one. Number one. When you make a sudden decision, una decisión repentina, you, you're going to use will okay when are you going to use will when you're not sure when you are not when probably. sure huh when is probably yeah when you're not sure let me give you one example okay so when you are when you make a sudden decision when you are not sure for example I think I will go to the beach. For example, I think I really, uh, 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 I will finish. Okay, let's say, let's say, Ada Vilma, that you invite us to go to the beach and you tell us, hey, people, uh, come to the beach with me. And then, for example, in my case, I tell you, I think I will go. I think, are you sure when you say I think? Yeah, yes, I do. Okay, you're not sure when you say I think. Okay, maybe, what about this? 
maybe I will go. When you say maybe I will go, are you are you sure? No, you're not sure because you're saying maybe, maybe. When you say I think, or when you say I'm not, I am not sure. I will go. I'm not sure. I will go. You understand? When you use I think, maybe, I'm not sure, I will go. Or when you make a sudden decision, okay? I will go okay. to the movie. I will go to the movie. Teacher. Yeah. What does it mean, sudden decision? Oh, sudden. Una decisión repentina. Repentina. I will go to the movies tonight. That's a sudden decision. Sudden decision. Okay. Una Teacher. decisión instantánea. Okay. Let's say you go to your house, you go to your house, and then you're watching TV, and you say, oh, okay. I will go buy some pupusas right now. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? It's a sudden Good idea. It's a sudden decision. Sudden decision. Una decision. Ten, please. Ten. 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 Okay. Good job. Yeah. With Loroco. <laughs> Cheese and Loroco. Okay. So. Yeah. But, okay. This is the way you use will, but, but let's go back to going to. Going to, you're going to use it when you have a plan, when you're sure about it, okay? Going to is when you're sure. And will, when you make a sudden decision, when you're not sure, okay? But it indicates future, it indicates future. Okay, so basically these are the four, one, two, three, yeah, maybe four little cases about future, okay? But, we will continue. I will continue to explain this to you in the near future so that you can understand it. So let's go back to, let's go back to the knowledge check. So this is section five. You're ready. Here we go. It says, it says, complete the invitations with present continuous used as future. Present continuous used as future. Use the pronoun and the verb in the brackets, okay? These are the brackets. These are the brackets, okay? You do, these are the brackets. Okay, um, Javier Merino. Go ahead. Um, let me see. What What do you do tonight? What are you doing? What are you doing? You have used present continuous with with uh. Please put a communication in the future. Use the future. Use the phone and the verb in brackets. Okay. What are you doing tonight? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to write the whole thing. What are you? doing tonight. I don't know if you have to write the whole thing or okay, give your side and give your side. Okay. And find out if I'm correct or incorrect. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, how are you doing teacher? Oh you're doing right? Are you doing yeah. okay? Let me try like that. Try like that. And let's go down and send it. Okay. Just see how you're going to write the for everybody. If you get it right, find it right. Yeah. <laughs> Cecilia, good job. Okay, tomorrow uh, we will go to El Rincón de Olokita in Merlo, okay? <laughs> and then you're gonna buy us pizzas with logo, okay? All right. With beans. With beans. With beans. Delicious. Loida Palacios, okay? Here, Loida Palacios. You do anything with Friday night? Mm -hmm. um, I'm so confused. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
ask the question in the present continuous. We're going to do thing on Friday night. Are, are you, are you, are you what? Where are you going? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Are you doing anything on Friday night? How are you doing yet? How do you translate that? How do you translate that? Uh, that's algo. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Future, present continuous, that's future. You know what I'm saying? Are you doing anything? What are you doing? What? It could be, you see, also, it could be, we have a lot. Each, in number one, we have a lot here. So, you, don't have it could be, it could be, you could put it, you could. What are you doing on Friday night? No, what? No, 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 I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense. It has to be, are you doing anything on Friday night? Because if you put what, it doesn't make sense. What are you doing? No, no, no. It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound correct. So, okay, okay let me try, let me try. Anima is going to, uh, uh, just well, you can write, you can write, you can write, right now. Good job, good job. 20 umbrellas from Pro Bank Pro. Omega, oh, ah, you don't. I didn't want to go. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't want to three. We? Present, remember, it's, it's present continuous. Uh, no, it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a question. It's a statement. It's a sentence. <laughs> we are? You're saying. I mean, we are, we're having friends over for barbecue on Sunday. How do you translate this? How do you translate this? I'm having. I know it's present continuous. We're talking about present continuous, but remember, you have to translate the idea. Siempre hay que traducir la idea. Porque en algunos no dicen, nosotros vamos a tener amigos. Para una hora cuando no se dice. No se dice. No se dice. Invitaremos. Ajá. O, o puedes decir, nosotros tendremos invitados a una barbacoa el domingo. Ajá, we are having. Ok, ok, ok. Now, I will buy you, I will buy you, a uh, yuca con pepeja. You find it right. Oh. Right. Very good. Loida, Loida, next. You work at the bank too, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, ok. So, uh, in la gambia, right? Uh, no, I don't work at the bank. <laughs> oh, where do you work? I work at uh, Tech What? Tech Subs. I am a developer, a developer. Oh, very good. Very smart lady. Okay, let's go ahead, Lola. Um, are you going to stay in our next week? Mm -hmm. Remember, present continuous. Are you staying in our next week? Good. Who, who can name me? I see you. Monica. 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 Very good. Are you saying? Are you staying in town next weekend? How do you translate that? Uh, how do you translate this? The idea. The idea. What do you mean, town, teacher? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No. No. Are you, are you staying? Are you staying? Yeah. No. 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 De los gringos y de los salvadores, de los Spanish people. En el centro. Pa. Dice, pa. dice, ese C, cuando usted dice C, hay un gran problema. ¿Se quedarán en la ciudad esta semana? ¿O oh, se van a quedar en la ciudad esta semana? ¿Se quedarán en la, ¿se quedarán en la ciudad esta semana? ¿Do you want to go for a hike? Quieres ir de caminata? Okay. Are you staying? Are you staying? Are you staying? Are you staying in town this weekend? Okay. Okay. Are you staying in town this weekend? All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay, classical question in English in the United States. Are you doing anything tonight? Are you doing anything tonight? Are you doing anything special tonight? Are you doing? ¿Vas a hacer algo esta noche? ¿Vas a hacer algo en especial esta noche? Are you doing anything tonight? ¿Vas a hacer algo esta noche? Are you doing anything tonight? I would like to go out. Would you like to go out? Okay, are you doing anything tonight? And the other one is Clásica de los Gringos. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Are you doing anything? Are you doing anything? ¿Vas a hacer algo? 
el viernes en la noche? We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Okay, vamos, vamos a tener invitados. Vamos a tener amigos invitados para una barbacoa el, el, el domingo. Okay, are you staying in town next weekend? Are you staying in town next weekend? Are you logging in tomorrow? Guys, are you logging in tomorrow? Yes. yes. Okay, are you logging in tomorrow? Are you connected to, to the online class tomorrow? Are you connecting? Are you connecting? Are you logging in tomorrow? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, all right. Yes, teacher. Okay, are you, are you swimming tomorrow, Cecilia? No. <laughs> okay, complete the responses. With be plus going to use the verbs in bracket. Verb to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try to go on Saturday. Okay. Okay, you have to use B plus going to. B plus going to. Go ahead. I am. I am. I am going to be here on Saturday. Okay, I'm go I am going to be. Very good. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Okay. Okay, let's give it a try. What? I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try to go. What is the problem here? What is the problem? I am going to be. Teacher, means oh. instead of the, the letter A, put the apostrophe. I don't the know how to say apostrophe, this word. The apostrophe. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, give me one second. Uh, where's the apostrophe? Mm -hmm. I could not put the apostrophe. I don't know what's going on. Can you copy, can you copy in, the, in the sentence three? Yeah. Can't? Yeah, right, very good, very good job. I did that. Oh, you did that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job. All right, all right, all right. Ta -da. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, now Beatriz Peñate. Well, my father. Is going to visit my brother. To visit. To visit. My brother is at college, at college but, but, but my mother and I are going to be home. Okay. Uh, I hope you get it right. I hope you get it right, Beatriz. Here we go. All right, Beatriz. Very good job. Good job. Okay. Okay. Juan Carlos. Sorry, I can't. Hi, teacher. How you doing? Uh, sorry. Um, I'm working. I'm going to work. I'm going, going to, work. to work. Work. Okay, but I'm not sure. I'm going to put. I'm going to work. I'm going to put. There you go. Good job. Very good. 
the next one, Elvis, Elvis, number four. Can we go to a late show? I'm going to a state at the office. I'm going to stay. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. We have to go eat tacos. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. All right. Okay, people. So, so this is uh this is what we have to do. Tomorrow we're going to be doing exercises with going to and present continuous. Okay. Uh, I want you to have a good night. Enjoy, enjoy your time. Take it easy, and I will see you tomorrow. Are you? Are good you night, log, Are you logging in? Are you logging in tomorrow? Are you logging in tomorrow? Yes, yes I'm going to. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. See you tomorrow, people. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye teacher. Good night.